Hey guys, this is Jen with NorthCoastGardening.com and today I want to talk a little bit about snail proofing, specifically with the slug shield. So usually when I do container plantings, I will wrap the outside of the pots with some copper tape and that just helps keep snails and slugs out for whatever reason, like going over the copper is just really distasteful to them and they often won't do it. But the problem with this strategy is that when leaves grow over the sides, it just acts as a little bridge and the slugs and snails can just walk right on over the foliage and into your plants and eat your delicious endives or sweet or peas or whatever. So the slug shield is kind of meant to, um, to tackle the slug and snail problem on a plant by plant basis. So what you can do is if you've got a plant that you're worried about the slugs and snails hurting, you can just wrap this around the base of it and it sort of forms a little bit of a shield where the slugs and snails just really aren't gonna pass. So obviously blueberries don't really have slug and snail issues. I just thought that this would be sort of an easy plant to show you how it works on. But like peas, you know, these snow peas, once I have these on a trellis, I can totally like wrap the slug shield around, around the peas, wrap it around the bottom of the trellis, and really you're good. Like, I don't know what slug or snail is gonna wanna walk over this sort of sharp pointy mass of copper, um, which is what the slug shield is. So I think that the slug shield has some real potential, especially if you're gardening in the ground, you've got like hostas or dahlias, things like that, that have a big enough stem that you could just maybe tie a couple of these slug shields together and wrap around the base of the plant. Now the one downside, of course, is just like the copper tape, if the foliage goes over the slug shield and touches the ground, um, then the snails and slugs are just going to walk right over it. So in order to use this effectively, which, you know, for an organic technique, it's, it's a pretty simple one. Um, you just need to make sure that whenever foliage cascades over the top of the slug shield and hits the ground, you just need to snap that foliage off. So this would work really well for dahlias, for example. And if you've ever had a snail crawl up your dahlia and sit on the flower and be so weighty that the flower just sort of bent uh, and, and made a real mess of your pretty flowers, then I think a slug shield is probably worth the couple minutes of effort to do that. So this is Jen with NorthCoastGardening.com um, and I've got the slug shield here. <laughs>